Hello and welcome to Asian Voices. We are your source for Asian and Pacific Islander culture, lifestyle, and entertainment. I'm your host, Catherine Choi. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to have superpowers or able to fly or move like a ninja warrior or fight crime or save mankind? Let's meet a remarkable artist who can do all those things and more. She is Linda Nguyen, also known as Kimchi, who is a very talented costume designer with a passion for cosplay that originated from Japanese pop culture in the 90s and has now become a worldwide phenomenon featuring characters from anime and comic book characters to even film and science fiction movies. My parents are from Vietnam. I was born and raised in San Diego, so I'm a local native San Diegan artist. Growing up, I believe because, you know, we didn't have so much, you know, we didn't have an abundance of toys and um, everything at our disposal. We had to be creative. We had to make things, you know, I'd have to go outside and I'd make things from what I find in the yard or like you'd make houses out of pillows and blankets. So I think as I grew up, I, I just naturally, if I wanted to do something or create something, I'm gonna make it. I'm not gonna buy it, you know? And I think that's how it ended up leading to art and to cosplay and making my own costumes. I, I was always into movies. I think maybe because when I was younger, I didn't get to go to movies much, you know, until I had a boyfriend in high school and we got to go. Before that, like, if you go, you go on your own dime and you know, it's, 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 it's different. So my, first and favorite one is probably Maleficent. I don't know why, she scared me. Um, I remember hiding under the beds when her scene came out, but I ended up making her costume and it's one of the most difficult ones I've made and I always make it based off my own interpretation. So if you look at it, it's not spot on, it's not exactly what that character is, it's my interpretation of it. And I think that's the fun part about cosplaying, it's, it's your spin on it, it's, it's your design on a character. And just give you these guys, um, these are my cuffs. I showed you these before they were painted. They're a warbla, painted with acrylic. And then I used, first I was using lace, but I ended up using metal to lace these guys together. I put a lot of time and effort and money into my costumes because I don't do it to take photos or I don't know why else people would do it, but I do it because I enjoy it. And if I do it, I want it to be perfect, you know, and, and it perfect for me. So it's not for really anyone else's eyes. I mean, a lot of people take gorgeous photos of their work and everything, but to me, it's like, it's, it's mostly about the experience you had with yourself for making it. During Comic-Con, a lot of the local San Diego galleries, especially the ones around downtown, Boreo Logan, they will celebrate in their own way and create a um, gallery show that surrounds um, all the artwork um, around comic books or you know other movie genres such as Star Wars. And so this year, my work is displayed at N Gallery, which is on Main Street located in Barrio Logan. So to me, it was a great honor to be a part um, of this display alongside with other really talented artists that are all local. And San Diego has a very small, I believe a small um, artist community compared to LA or New York. So I think it's very important that we all support each other. I believe what sets me apart from other cosplayers is I don't just create costumes, but I also paint. And to me, I paint because I enjoy it and it's relaxing. It's, it's not something I ever did with a goal in mind to sell. Like I, I actually never envisioned anybody to want my art. I found a space where I could paint and um, it just kind of grew from there. It became a gallery where I guess I could open the doors, you know, and for some reason people came in. And then after that, for some reason, people started asking if they could buy it. And it was the strangest thing because it's just something you create and you would never think somebody would want to pay for it. 
I do all this because it was a hobby. It started as something you could use to stress relieve yourself. So to me, any income I made from it wasn't the goal, you know, that came out of painting. So what I do is any money that I make from my artwork that is sold from my site doesn't go to me. It goes to the San Diego Humane Society because I am a huge animal advocate. I figured we can all make money to take care of ourselves. They can't make money to take care of themselves. So why not, right? And this whole goal to paint was just to enjoy myself. So if I can make some extra money and do something good with it, why wouldn't I? Dressing up is not just for the Halloween time or, you know, certain holidays. I mean, who made those rules? And, you know, just basically to me in life, it's not about the rules someone sets for you. It's about what you're doing to make yourself happy, to, you know, enjoy your everyday life. You know, if, if you're going through life always worrying about what people think of you, you know, or if people will laugh or judge you, it's a bit sad, you know, because it should really only matter what you think of yourself. That's it. So that's how I've always felt about things. I, I know um, I'm surrounded by some very, very supportive people, but not everybody thinks like me or would do what I would do. And that doesn't mean that what I do is wrong or what I do is right or, or someone's opinion is right compared to mine. It's just everybody is different. But I always encourage people to step outside of their comfort zone because you'll never know what you're capable of doing. I think if you, if you try to do something that you think, I can never do that. Once you accomplish that, you'll feel like you can do anything, which is amazing. So I, I would definitely encourage everybody to give that a try. Do something that you're afraid to do. I am Kimchi Cosplay, and this is my voice.